I love that. Yeah. We're back with the Bad Vibe Podcast with Dwight and Jeremy. I'm D. Wizzle. And I'm Jeremy Wizzle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, some people call me that, I guess. That's my black name. Yeah. This is episode 29. Yeah, 29. The age most older women claim to be. Oh, uh, yeah. Mom used to be like that. <laughs> Our mom never claimed an age past 29. Yeah, she was always like, still 29. She, You remember, I don't know if she told you, but she went into a store to buy cigarettes. And mm-hmm. for some reason, the guy asked how old she was. Like, she obviously... Oh, no, she said, you're not going to ID me? Because she looked really old because she was real sick of cancer and stuff. So she she was probably in her 40s, but she looked like she was like 60. Yeah. And the guy was like, uh, no, 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 ma'am. And he's, she's like, well, I'm, I'm 29. And the guy was just like... She didn't say it with like a funny a look on her face. She just said it like it was real. And the guy just looked at her like, God damn, you've had a rough life. Yeah. Very rough. <laughs> You're the worst looking 29 year old I've ever seen. Yeah, because she looked pretty rough at the end. <laughs> yeah, by the end. Actually older than she was. When well she, over. Because when yeah. she was in her she was in her mid to late forties towards the end of her life mm-hmm. and probably could have passed for late fifties. Yeah. Yeah. Chemo. Maybe, she may be a good sixty or you know, like like a healthy non smoking sixty. Chemo. Yeah. Does the body good. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. It fucked her up bad. Really not. But, uh, yeah. Oh, the thing I was gonna, that I wanted to talk about, uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It's been on Facebook and shit like that. This thing about women getting, like, catcalling. No. Uh, uh, well, you know how, like, when shit, you see it on movies and shit more than you see it in real life, but when women are, like, walking down the road and they're kind of pretty and guys are like, ooh, hey. Oh, yeah, I saw the thing and making fun <laughs> of it, yeah. And they're like, something's got to change because men, they subjugate women and they're like, hey, you're pretty. And they, First of all, when I'm walking down the street and somebody yells something out, it's probably like, speed it up, fatty. I don't start a fucking movement to stop people from saying that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, the whole, like, uh, you know, these guys that are trying to be like, that's sexist. Mm-hmm. You know, that little sexist movement right now by guys? Yeah, guys that are like, I'm Shut a Shut the fuck up. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, just bend over and take a dick, because that's apparently what you want. Yeah, because they want to be girls. No, I think a lot of it is they want girls to think they're, like, sensitive and nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, oh, girls some like... fat dork that won't leave his mom's basement, <laughs> and he's on line being yeah. like, don't talk to her like that. Yeah, yeah. When, when it's look like yeah. it's some forty-five-year-old man talking, like looking on some fourteen-year-old girl's Facebook, saying like, <laughs> "You shouldn't let them talk to you like this." And she's like, "You know what? You're right." Yeah, maybe I should blow you. He's like, "Well, do what you want to do." But if that's what you want to do, definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do, but specifically if blowing me is your, you know, <laughs> it's like, but I think that like, all right, if if a girl's walking down the street, like you should be nice to, you should never be rude to people. That's pretty what that's. My rule. Mm-hmm. Don't be rude to people. But if a girl's walking down the street and she's really pretty and you're like, hey, you know, yeah, because a lot of people. You'd be like, God damn. I'd what like to get up passed, in that. Yeah, but as soon as she passes, you're like, damn. <laughs> yeah, what you should do is what I do. You stare at her ass as she walks away. Mm-hmm. But you know what's weird? When you stare at a girl's ass, in your mind isn't like, oh, this, oh, that. It's just like, damn, look at that ass. You're admiring it you're for like, what it is. Ah, look at it. It's so nice. And then you're like, damn, she went down that aisle. <laughs> right? You're like, what aisle did she go down? Damn it. She's faster than me. Yeah, but then you're like, wait, maybe if I skip her aisle, go down to the next one, then whenever she comes down that aisle, she'll come towards me, which that would be pretty I'm, nice. I go down that aisle, and I'm acting like I'm looking at, like, baked beans. And you let her pass. And I'm like, no, not baked beans. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, asparagus. You try to be looking like, at something uh, that makes you seem like a decent person. Yeah. You're looking at canned meat. You're like, well, potted Actually, meat or... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think baked beans are and asparagus on the same fucking aisle. Well, canned asparagus, I guess. Yeah. But do healthy people eat canned fresh. vegetables? You gotta go fresh, dude. Dude, what? You know, I didn't know about the whole fresh vegetables thing. I mean, I knew about it. <laughs> you didn't know about fresh vegetables? <laughs> you just thought they grew in a can? No, I mean, growing up, we had, like, we grew vegetables and stuff. But, like, me and you, when we lived together all those years, the healthiest meal we would make would be a couple of cans of vegetables, maybe some peas, some carrots, some... Olive- You're like, look at that, we're eating healthy. We yeah. got canned corn, canned green beans, <laughs> canned carrots. Yeah. And with some butter. <laughs> oh, butter. <laughs> butter, salt, and pepper. Butter. And you're like, God damn, someone's like, why don't you just add some fucking sugar to that? <laughs> we're like, hey. But yeah, we would just open a tub of butter, the one with... You know the commercial where it's just hands? Yeah. And it's like, hey, hey. you always want... there. 
Yeah, anyway. It always makes you think of jerking off using butter as lube. I don't yeah. think so. Anyway, we'll just open it's up. Never one, made me think that way. We would just open up one of those tubs of butter and dump a can of green beans into it and heat that up. That's pretty much what it's like. Oh shit, that'd be good too. But my wife, when I first got with her, she's like, "I don't like canned vegetables." I'm like, "What the fuck do you mean you don't like canned vegetables? Like, what are you a fucking communist?" She's like, "No, I like f- like frozen, you know, because it's hard to find. There's no Whole Foods or nothing like that around yeah. here. So the most healthy choice you really have is frozen vegetables." So she's like, I like frozen. And I, and I like them, too, now that I've gotten to know, like, eating them. But they don't taste anything like canned vegetables. <laughs> that makes me think canned yeah, is really been, bad for They've you. been all soggy for so long and They're like soaked that, in all that green bean juice. Yeah, what is green bean uh, juice? It isn't water. It's preservatives. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> that's what's causing cancer. Oh, yeah. Green bean juice. I mean. Look at it. White trash people. Buy the white trash, you know, because you can't get, you're not going to pay that extra, you know, like 30 cents for the green beans. You're like, let's get the can, it'll last long. We don't even have to eat it today. Yeah, we're going to eat it and in then, seven years. And you're going to eat it later on because it's a little bit cheaper, and then you're going to end up getting cancer like everyone else does. Yeah. That's what poor. Do you, do you ever think like... I think rich people getting cancer is just like a setup to make poor people to make think it that look everyone like, does. To make it look like, yeah, people get cancer, but it's really it's just like fake. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just, because think about it, like, all the people we know that have cancer, they come from, like, lower income families. Some famous person will be listening to this, they're like, I really did have cancer. <laughs> Bullshit. They're like, why was I one of the ones? Yeah. Patrick Swayze's faking his death and shit. They're like, am I a white trash actor? Do you think when, <laughs> yeah. They're like... <laughs> I'm like, are you Woody Harrelson? Right? Yeah, Woody Harrelson, like, he's obviously, like, a multi-millionaire. Hey, he's a good actor. I like him. But he is a white trash yeah, actor. He, well, I, I mean, mean, I know. he's His dad was a hitman, and he grew up in, like, a trailer park. And, and he's his like, cousin's with our cousin. Yeah, our cousin is, like, second cousins to Woody Harrelson. Every time I see him in a movie, I tell Crystal that. I tell Johanna, too. She didn't believe me for years until I called him. I say it so much that Crystal just has to probably see it and think, oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> his cousin's cousin. Mm-hmm. And that in no way benefits any of us. It's not like we're getting a check, <laughs> you know? Woody's like, well, uh, my second cousin's cousins, yeah. on his mom's side, they're going to get a cut off this next movie. They're I wish. Hunger Games and shit. I wish. It would be nice to get a little cut. Think about the money he still gets from Cheers. You know they get, like, residuals? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Like, the dude that played Sam, you mm-hmm. know, the main Cheers guy? I bet he still gets... I bet he still makes, like, a million-something dollars a year. Pick Norm. Off of Cheers. Yeah, Norm and all them. Because, like, Norm, Cliff... And then the guy that played the pig on Toy Story? Yeah, that's Cliff. Yeah. Uh, People are like, whoa, that connection, right? Oh, you know what? Uh, Jim Jeffrey said on a podcast that... Because he, he has a show on TV, and the guy that played Cliff is on his show. So Jim said that to how he tells if a girl's too young to fuck is if she recognizes him from Toy Story, she's too young to fuck. If she mm. recognizes him from Cheers, she's okay to go. Mm. And I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty good because I wouldn't have thought of him from Toy Story. Really? I never watched Toy Story. You never have? No, I mean, I was older when it started. I've seen, it's been on like in the five house. five of them now or something. There's a little... Yeah, it's on sometimes in the house and I'll watch a few minutes of it, but I don't really quite get it. I like them. I like that other movie where toys come alive. There's two. In it in the cupboard. And then what's that one? Toy Indian Soldiers? In the cupboard. That was a pretty good movie. Is the other one called Toy... What is the other one called? It's not Toy Soldiers. That's a different movie. What's the one when the little toy toys are like having war and shit? You know what I'm talking about? Small Soldiers. Small Soldiers, yeah. You like that movie? Yeah, I mean, I like it better than Toy Story. It's just like Toy Story. Except it's, it's a just, little more... They're violent. Yeah, it's a little more adult-friendly. Yeah, the other ones are like, Adam, we need to go to the forest. And the other ones are like, kill that son of a bitch. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Tommy Lee Jones is playing the, the, like, the general or whatever. Can you do a good impression of the dude off of Cheers and Toy Story? No. He's like, eh, what are you going to do? Man? That sounds, like, that sounds <laughs> no. a little bit more like Norm. <laughs> That was a that yeah. Was a yeah, that's horrible. what I meant. Norm, Norm. <laughs> Norm's not on Toy Story. Yeah, no, I don't think they let him around kids. He does seem like he would touch kids, doesn't he? Yeah, he does seem like he freak them out a lot, though. He seems like the kind of guy that's like he's a good old boy. Like everybody thinks he's a nice guy, but he touches kids. Like that one dude. I bet there's people that can do that dude's accent. You know, like do that. Oh, there's. A, I've heard people do Cliff. Really? They're like, yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Gonna go. I can't do it at all. Uh, uh, it sounds a little bit like that guy. 
acting like Norm. <laughs> you're, you're doing an impression of that guy doing an impression of Norm. Oh, shit, I should take that show on the fucking road. Or Norm doing an impression of that guy. I figured you'd be able to do it, because you can do some accents, like, pretty decent. Yeah, but I can never think of how to do it when it comes down to it. <laughs> I'll just to... be sitting there in my car driving, and then, like, I'll think of something and just say it as that person. Yeah, when I'm at work, I do voices, like, just when I'm by myself, and I do them real loud. That's one of the things I'm, like, real, like, interested in, and I just never, like, you know, explore that. Well, you do know that all of the good impressionists say that they don't work hard on any of them. They said you can either do it or you can't. Yeah. That's basically what they say normally. I mean, they'll work on them a little, but they're like, well, you can kind of either... You're not just going to, like, keep changing the sound of your voice, and then you're either going to, like, just come out with it. Yeah. Like like that one time how I... <laughs> you did De Niro? That wasn't even a voice. That was his face. And somehow I did You looked it. exactly like him for, like, a half a second. You looked exactly like him from, like... And it's like you got to get the you, eyes squinting enough, and you got to do the face. you got to make your face look a little bit longer, kind of. Kind of like a sad, pissed off look. Yeah. His face, when he's like doing like the classic him. Yeah. It looks like he could either be fixing to cry, fixing to like beat somebody's ass, or fixing to laugh. Like, you don't know. Where, where, I mean, uh, where did he come up with that? It's his face. <laughs> that's what he you looks I mean? like. That's just his face. His parents <laughs> fucked, and that's where he came up with yeah. it. They came up with his face. Damn, this podcast should be sponsored by fucking Pineapple Crush. You like it? I don't really like it, but I was just really thirsty, I guess. Maybe I, I do like mine. Maybe I do like You know, I didn't eat pineapples my whole life until about a year ago I started. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Yeah, but I like them now. Pineapples are good. They're not good. They're pretty good, but the aftertaste still freaks me out a little. Yeah, you know why, though? Because it's not good? No, because you're eating out of a can. No, no, no. I've ate them, I've ate them fresh more often than Really? Not. Dude, the fresh ones are awesome. Yeah, they're way better. I got yeah. some from, like, Mexico or something when we went down there. Look Dude, at this. Oh, we, my gosh. We brought it back around. To what? Fresh versus canned food. Oh, yeah. Food. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. And that's it for episode 20. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to drop the mic and it, walk It's weird that, uh... I mean, like, seriously, though, it, it was really good in Mexico, like that. The fresh fruit and everything. Yeah. Well, their, their climate is made for Dude, those Dude, there, types of there is something I gotta talk I mean, about. Okay. Fruits. You might have to Google this. Who, me? But I was at work the other day, and this girl said that in Mexico, there's a Chinese boy band that's like, <laughs> extremely popular. All right, and, and I was like, there's no fucking way. And it's not just they're Chinese and they, and they speak Spanish. No, they're speaking fucking Chinese. Why are they popular? She's like, yeah, my cousin is like obsessed with them. Her cousin it lives in Mexico. But what does he think they're singing about? He don't know? It's a she, I think. It's a she. It's usually not guys that like boy bands. No, I know, but yeah, but what I'm saying is what does that person think they're saying? No, I don't think they... Uh, they don't know. I mean, it's Mexicans learning Chinese. I don't think that's oh, even so possible. It's kind of, <laughs> no. <laughs> that is um, fucking weird. That's going to confuse the shit out of some people if you go and find a Mexican speaking Chinese. But I, like, I asked you, though, I was like, are you sure it's Chinese? Or you, did you just see a picture of them and say they're Chinese? Maybe they're just... Are they some kind of Asian? And she was like, I think they're Chinese. And I was like, eh. I just... <laughs> That's I, weird. You know how, like, a lot of people There's like... There's, like, five or six guys in the in the boy band. They all, like, look the same. <laughs> of course they do. They might be girls. I don't know. Yeah, but you know how, like, a lot of people like Nirvana, and they're not sure what some of their songs mean. Yeah, but they're not sure. Not that... They don't know what the fuck they're saying. But they're certain of some words. Like... <laughs> right? On on this? No, no, no. I'm saying with oh, Nirvana. Oh, Nirvana. Yeah, they're There's certain some words something. you definitely know. Yeah, like, he really did say, like, Iguana or something. You know, like... <laughs> no, but, I mean... Yeah. It's like a fucking dead air time there for a second. Because <laughs> we're both like stuttering through shit in our mind. And I was staring but, into a light. But no, um, don't go to it. <laughs> Fuck it. No, anyways, yeah, it, that's just fucking crazy. A, a, boy, a Chinese boy band is real popular in Mexico. Yeah, like a Chinese boy band being popular here is kind of weird, but not nearly a, as weird. Do you think a Mexican boy band would be popular in China? Probably. Menudo? Remember mm, Menudo? Yeah. I don't care. It was a Mexican boy band. Yeah, that's just stupid. <laughs> Why is that stupid? Yeah, and that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I don't want to... You kind of... I just... Everyone's always, like, brings them up and all that. I don't know. No, I don't know their music or anything. I just know they they're exist. Like, Selena! There's always this thing when they're talking about, like, Kim Kardashian, J-Lo, and all these other... And they're all like, before all them, it was Selena. Yeah. Yeah, Selena had one good song. 
She wasn't as popular as people think she was. Yeah. A lot of people... Uh, you think these people listen, now About Selena? Yeah. Or is that just like a, te- a real strong Texas thing? Yeah, she was from like here. Like yeah, I know, but I mean... She's all over, right? I mean, she had a movie. Was she going to fucking Maine and doing concerts? I doubt it. Yeah, I know. I doubt she's going to Maine and Stephen King's up there like, not bad. He's like, that gives me an idea. Yeah, I'll make a movie about a Mexican he, killed by yeah. her fucking man. Yeah, he's like, great. But around here, what a lot of people may not know that aren't from here is around here, you kind of got to watch out talking shit about Selena. Yeah, that's Because people aren't there. fucking around. These Mexicans love Selena. Mm-hmm. And if you make a joke like, yeah, fucking Selena, she was overrated, they're like, ah, fuck you, it, they, you know, like, what? Yeah. You're like, I was just saying, like, she had one good song, they're like, she had two, you know, it's like, oh, damn, dude. Like, they were all great. Yeah, but which, it's in Spanish. Which anybody that. I don't speak Spanish very well. Yeah, well, well, her bigger hit, her biggest hit, I think, was in English. Usually I'm like, I don't speak Spanish too good. Yeah. You know, and I'm like. <laughs> or English. <laughs> yeah, or English. <laughs> but, like, I'm not very, very good at it. No. Well, still not good. Yeah, you're kind of trailing off there. It wasn't a niner. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, fucking, yeah, fuck Selena, fuck canned vegetables. No, fresh vegetables, I like canned vegetables. Fuck canned vegetables. <laughs> Dude, on uh, the thing where he said he's pork and beans. What was that on? On Brickleberry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, that, I, like, that's probably the funniest part of that episode. When the guy's fucking a can of beans? Yeah, pork and beans. <laughs> that's what's funny about it. It's pork and beans. No, no I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, I know, but he's like, fucking beans. <laughs> well, because, <laughs> no. this, because this is an audio podcast. Yeah? They may not pick up what you think is funny about pork and beans. Yeah, but you gotta just think about it. That would be like if we're like, alright, for this week's episode, we're gonna watch a movie and sit silently through it. We watch a silent film. Well, they can hear a little bit of the dialogue in the background. We watch a silent film, and uh, <laughs> yeah. we just all like, "You should have seen that part." Oh, Every once in a while, crazy when they do that thing. You're like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> I've never seen one of those movies. A silent film? Yeah. I mean, I've muted one while it was on, but <laughs> I don't think that counts. I've seen like, you know, bits and pieces of them. The acting is. Like, well, I've seen like so like bad. YouTube videos or, or or a movie where it shows it on there. I don't mean I, I've never like sat down and fucking like oh yeah look and push play and then we're watching it. Yeah, nobody has. I mean, not, <laughs> nobody our age anyway. Yeah, or our parents. Since or play has been like an option, yeah. I don't think that movie's been push play. <laughs> no, no. Because you know, back in the day, can you imagine though the people uh, like just after the turn of the century and there's just now movies. And you can go to these big places. I think they called them Nickelodeons. Yeah. What if they called them Disney Channels? That's what what's Stan called it. He just saw it once on Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. So, like, say you, you go to one of those, you oh, don't like really... a cartoon channel? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, really? I thought they just put, like, green jizz on people on that channel. I'm like, back in 1912? Yeah. <laughs> they had Nickelodeon? But can you imagine being at that time? Like, nick, 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 nick. <laughs> and going into it. Remember a... that? Yeah. <laughs> and there's Nick Jr. I wasn't real into that stuff. Yeah, I, I was. was weird. I was a weird Amanda, kid. Amanda, 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 and then now she's all like, "Oh you know yeah," I mean? she's like sitting in her in her thing. She's like Amanda, 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 like cr- she's like curled up on her floor, crazy, like right? yeah. Like you know, a lot of times you'll hear like this celebrity's lost his mind. You're like, in yeah. her head, that theme song is always going on. You know, she like she goes to like other celebrities and sends them messages on Twitter, and it's like "fuck you," you know, silly, not silly. What happened? Because she was like. She's fucking she's like goofy, funny, and, and stuff, and then all of a sudden she's like lost it. Like she had her show on Nickelodeon. People were like, "What happened?" It's because every time you fucking leave your house, there's yeah. people, and some people just can't take it. Yeah. Tom Cruise loves that shit. Well, see, Tom you know Cruise I mean? is crazy, but like a positive kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean he's jumping on couches, and uh, you know, that was when years he talks. Ago. When he talks, though, like when you see him on being interviewed or something, he seems like a really like nice, cool guy and everything, but Just something kinda... is not quite right. <laughs> yeah, know? he's like he's like turning his head and <laughs> smiling and laughing real weird and yeah. like not saying anything. Yeah, like all that. And then you money. see him in a movie and you're like, holy shit, it's That's like a good act. It's like he gets his shit together as soon as the camera's rolling. <laughs> like he's sitting there like going all crazy and shaking his head and they push record and he's like acting. Yeah, he's uh, because a lot of people might like to say, like, oh, I don't like Tom Cruise. But you're just basing that on his crazy shit. Yeah. You can't say he's not a good actor. It's like may- Charlie Sheen. Yeah, Charlie Sheen's a bad motherfucker. People are all like, I don't like him, I don't like him. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, the one that hates Jews? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Mel Gibson. Yeah. 
You can not like him because he hates Jews all you want. You can't say Apocalypto isn't great. Mm. I know the Jesus movies. Are I even like the uh, the Weddo or whatever that one fucking movie was. Gringo, the Weddo. <laughs> <laughs> you had it back. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Uh, you said the fucking Spanish word. Yeah, I was like, what is it fucking called? I know it was like Mexico. Anyways. Uh, yeah, the gringo. That wasn't bad. Did you watch it? Uh-uh. He's like in a Mexican prison. Does uh, he play in it? Yeah, yeah, he's good. Uh, it was... A lot of people, like, talk shit about it, because that... It was after a lot of that shit was on about him. Juice stuff. And then he, he came out with that, and I, I think because of that, it didn't get that much. It like went straight to a fucking TV or something. I don't remember a lot of publicity about Apocalypto. Do you? No, not really. But now Maybe the Jesus movie got all the pub, but oh, I don't gosh. really get it. I never really have seen it, I guess. Mm. Don't they imply in that movie that Jesus invented tables? I don't know. Is that the same movie? Because remember, know. we That's watched just... like the first ten minutes of it. He invented tables. Yeah, like there weren't tables before 2,000 years ago. There had to and, and they praised this guy because of tables. The tables aren't that good. I don't know, you like, know what I mean? There are things that are like, oh my gosh, he's our savior. <laughs> like, like, what are we going to cut this fucking bread on? <laughs> People have been cutting cutting their food and eating on, on the, the floor. floor. <laughs> and they're like, this food's disgusting. Too bad we don't have something that's elevated. It's not dirty and we can put a cloth on it. I like to think they have they any chairs. pull some chairs up to it, yeah. Yeah, and they had chairs with their plates set on the floor. They had to yeah. bend down and eat. Yeah, that... That's that's because they weren't upright yet. Until Jesus right? until Jesus came around and built a chair. A table. A table. No, they were upright. Yeah. That was 2,000 years ago. These are anatomically fucking correct humans. Yeah, but if you go by the Bible, you don't know what's real. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, if you, read the, if you were to, like, let's say the only history you knew at all was the Bible. Mm -hmm. No outside influences. All you knew was the Bible. Of course, the Bible history stopped 2,000 years ago. But... Every time you saw a table, you'd be like, thanks, Jesus. Like, Thank you, Jesus. That's why whenever you're sitting around the dinner table, that's, that's why, why people do that. That's why God, yeah. Yeah, uh, they're like, if it wasn't for you, that's why they take the We literally take wouldn't be off. sitting here eating. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they'd be like, we'd be sitting on the floor eating dirty turkey. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this clean, up-off-the-ground turkey. Yeah. We've gathered here today to eat. The mashed potatoes used to be a shit show until your invention came into town. Can That's you imagine crazy. mashed potatoes on the floor? They pick up every fucking pube. Mashed potatoes are fucking sticky. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> and then they just got a pile of food. I mean, I guess they had bowls. But I mean, they had plates. And I'm like, it's not like you, like whenever you invented the table, they're all like, yeah, let's put shit in this. This is stay on the fucking table. Yeah. Thanks, Jesus. Right? <laughs> But no, they just got mashed potatoes and peas. They just scoop it up and throw it in front oh of the other one. Oh, my God. Dude, I went to... Uh, I don't like mashed potatoes and peas. I like both of those things. Yeah, but it just seems like when they would dump the peas, they would just scatter everywhere. Well, peas would roll all You'd over You'd be trying to place. scoop all the, you know... You'd chase a pea into the corner to get it on your spoon. How was this table, like... I wonder if, like... like you know, like... Was Chinese Jesus, like... He's like, I f forgot to build legs? What was that? Yeah, did he, like, build the table, but then, like, he only sold the parts to him? Like, like... People Ikea. get it on installment plans. Like Ikea or whatever, you know, <laughs> yeah. like they had to build it themselves. <laughs> yeah. They shop naked and save. You they imagine. They did shop naked back then, right? They just didn't have clothes. Yeah, well. That's where that comes from. Nobody's going to know what you're talking about. Why? Shop naked? Yeah. It's a local commercial. Is it really? Yes. Oh. Well, come <laughs> down here and go in the past. <laughs> yeah, because they don't do it anymore. It's, it's an old local commercial. Yeah, there was this, there's this place here called The Homestead. And they sell, uh, like, house and yard furniture. But they sell it unfinished, which I always thought meant they weren't done building it. Yeah, I always thought, like, they put three legs on, but the <laughs> fourth one, you know, yeah. doesn't have the bolts. Or yeah, I thought hole. that's what it meant, but it doesn't. It means it's not, like, sanded and stained. So that's called naked stuff. So they say, shop naked. So the song was, shop naked and save at the homestead. And it never... And then it has, like, a little, like... You could take well, it home and, see, and paint it today or something. <laughs> you can take it home and paint it today. It's something like that. Someone's all like, I ain't fucking taking this shit home and paint it today. But, but the, my thing was, I never heard that and didn't think, go in there with no clothes on and buy Yeah, you go in there and you're like, uh, what's my discount? 
You know? I could imagine people going in there naked just because they heard that. I mean, why wouldn't you think that's what they mean? Some crazy people or just some people who are like, you know just, what, fuck it. Just, or just some people that are just like heard it and they're like, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. And I Someone like, God smell. damn, I'm shopping naked in here, but I'm going to get a fucking splinter. <laughs> Somewhere I don't want to. It is funny that that's the one kind of furniture you wouldn't want to sit on naked. <laughs> I know. Unsanded wood. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Can you imagine no. a splinter right in the sack? Ah, screw that, dude. Nah. It kind of freaks me out to think. Uh, of- I don't even like splinters. You remember Heath got one in his cock one. Ah, dude. I don't, <laughs> I don't even like, like, uh. And you know, Heath, he's not smart. He didn't yeah. tell his mom for two weeks. Yeah. He got infected. That's disgusting. I didn't see it, but can you imagine how bad that must have looked? <sighs> God damn, a splinter in the fucking dick. I don't know if it hit, like, dick dick or, like, skin part. I don't even know. I don't even I would, know. Oh, God. I'm starting to, like, freak myself out. Anyways. I'm going to have to call Heath and ask him which part of his dick it got into. Yeah, he probably, I don't, don't want to know. I do want to know. Just like keep that one. To the yourself. listeners need to know. Maybe he was shopping naked. No, he was sliding down a banister on their porch that was naked. Oh, dude, don't even. Does it? Re- that yeah, really that really does. Yeah, yeah. Right. dude, the listeners got to know. The listeners don't got to know. How are they going to know that you shouldn't slide down an unsanded banister to a stairway? Naked? If you have balls. He wasn't naked. <laughs> I was just it thinking, like, why sh- the fuck would you do that? <laughs> I mean, like, first of all, what he... Yeah, she's like yesterday when we are at the fucking stands and we're up there on the top and I can see the fucking ground. Yeah, we're not very good with heights. I'm not very good with heights. Okay, we're going to bring that. We went to a football game last night. High school. Yeah, high school game. And it was in a bigger stadium than we usually go to because it's a playoff game. They play in big stadiums. And the bleachers were probably... They're as long as the fucking field. Yeah, well, yeah, they were as long as the field, but they're probably 50, 40 feet high. Yeah, we're probably about 40, that. 45 feet high, which doesn't sound that high, but it's, it's pretty high. Yeah. And we always sit on the top. We always have. We just do. That's just mm-hmm. where we fucking mm-hmm, sit. Mm-hmm. So me and him go to the top, and nobody else sits up there. Well, right away, he gets nervous because he's like a little afraid of I heights. I got fucking nervous walking up there. Yeah, walking up there was tough. But it's not because it's high. It's that there's a fucking gap in between where you're walking. Yeah, you, you can, can easily see the ground. slip and your foot would fall through that little crack. Your foot, but you're not going to fall through it. I, I'm not going to, but it's still fucking scary. Well, here's what happens. Because when I'm standing up, I can see the fucking ground through that yeah, crack Yeah, seeing good. the ground does get... So here's what happened. We're sitting up there. We're, we get to the game fairly early, so we're sitting there waiting for the game to Freezing start. Freezing ass balls cold outside. Freezing cold. You know, we got jackets and shit, but where we live, you don't ever, you don't really own a big enough jacket when it gets mm-hmm. super... Because it's not cold often enough. You just wear jeans and some fucking like, hoodie kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're freezing, and he start, he's like, dude, you can see through here. It doesn't feel stable. We're both on the same, uh, what do you, like, plank. It's metal, but like the the same. Plank. And we're big guys, so that. Uh, and it felt kind of like it would sway when we'd stand on it. The stadium looked like it was kind of old and in disrepair, kind of. And then on the the little beams that you walk on that are in between, you know, the little beams with the. Yeah, I don't know what to call them. Like yeah, the, it's like bench, the benches stuff. Yeah, it's just yeah, what like you a walk bench, on but part. Just, yeah. It's like it's just like bending when you're walking on it, <laughs> and you're like, ugh. And the and then so he starts he's freaking out. He's scared to stand up. He hangs on to shit. So then I start getting anxiety because of him. And then the next thing you know, we're both like tied in knots. Yeah. Like it's freezing. We're sitting there fucking. Oh, that was horrible. It, we were both like. I, but we won. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our team did win. So that was good. But uh, so. But we're sitting there and like it's completely uncomfortable, and and all I can think is if this thing falls, we're gonna go down. We're gonna hit our heads on the concrete. So I was like, dude, if this thing collapses, what I hope happens is that a piece of sharp metal comes out of nowhere and just cuts my head off. Yeah, I thought maybe if, if that whole back part just collapsed back, I'd like cut my head off on the like the railing thing. No, on the uh, the fence. Yeah, yeah, the fence behind. Just it. like knock it clean off, so that you don't suffer. <laughs> you were out there like, God damn. <laughs> And he didn't like a splinter. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, but what's funny? It would be funny if that happened. And it's like my head gets sheared clean off by a piece of metal. Your head gets clipped off by the fence. Mm-hmm. And they're like a stadium at a football game collapsed today. No one was injured except two guys got decapitated. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking crazy. They're like everybody else was fine, even people sitting on the top, because of the safety measures of the 
you know, stadium. <laughs> it's like, well, That's guess, fucking crazy. They're like, we they were overweight. <laughs> yeah. You know, bit. it would lead with fat asses <laughs> yeah. lose some weight. <laughs> you know? Two fat guys decapitated at high school playoff game. Yeah. And people were like, that's I'd, read, one of those I'd read that paper. I'd buy that paper. Yeah, because that's one of those stories that, that you would have to fucking... Everybody would read it. Yeah. Unless it was one of those on those Facebooks where it's always a enticing title to get. Yeah, people are like, ah, oh, whatever, and they're like, no, seriously, <laughs> no, really, two like, fat I heard about actually this. Actually, did die it's in a... Texas, southeast Texas, somewhere. My cousin knows them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Somebody knows. You know, there's my always... cousin used to work with the guy. He's crazy. Yeah. Right? He said he was crazy. He was always talking about losing his head. He had a glass eye <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, a, yeah. and a peg leg. It's there's funny. A pirate on there. Like, is he a pirate? Right? Like, no, 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 he hated pirates. <laughs> he just dressed like one to show them how stupid they were. Uh, that being said, that went a little crazy there. I would like to dress like a pirate, not for Halloween, but just like sometimes. Because you know, in Dodgeball, that dude dresses like a pirate, and he's like silly or whatever. Yeah. But as the movie goes on, and then towards the end, when he's like, "Oh, being a pirate's stupid," and he's got his polo shirt on, you see that it's in his it's in his soul to dress like a pirate. Yeah, he, he's like. Uh, yeah, whatever. And then they show him the goal, he's like, Arr. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's, so I like the idea of people who don't just, you know, there's a lot of people nowadays that want to seem different. Uh-huh. They're like, well, I just like to wear this mustache this way. But they just want to seem interesting. I like people who really are interesting. You yeah. meet somebody that they, in their deepest parts of their heart, they want to be a, like, look like a pirate. That's crazy. And I know that's just a movie, but that exists in other forms. Yeah, but I want to I want to meet someone that just really thinks they're a pirate. Like, yeah, they don't like go out on the like high a, seas. Like a pirate. I don't mean like a metaphor in this or nothing. No, no. You know, I Not really I, I want to see a guy that's threes. like walking around all crazy around ports, looking for a ship or something. You know, there's probably a lot of dudes like that in like port type, like shipping yard places. Like, yeah, they act like pirates. <laughs> yeah, maybe they don't think they're pirates. Yeah, that like they're kind of piratey. Like, but nobody, Ahoy, matey. But, yeah, but nobody will take them seriously. You know, like, whenever, like, I'm sure, is there, like, a pirate, probably at, like, Disney, they have the Pirates of the Caribbean thing, and there's, like, a land you can go into. Pirate land? That's, like, all pirate kind of acting. You know, like, when you go to, like, the Renaissance Festival? Stuff? Yeah. It's probably people like that there, you know? I would hope so. I want to go there. I want to go, but... I'm not, like, like, I guess, like, pirates? I don't know. I'm not, like, a fan. Yeah. But, uh... There's something kind of cool about pirates. The zombie shit has gotten too fucking popular. Yeah, I mean, it's just, the zombies have gotten too, like, not cool anymore. Like, when did all that really start getting, like... It comes and goes. Zombie stuff? Yeah. It's big right now, but it was big before, too, you know? But, like, a lot of, like, the punk kind of, you know, they just go overboard with it. They're like, man... Because they're all, like, the whole dead thing. I don't like the whole thing where, like, when the zombie... Like, people, like, they try to be funny with it. Well, when the zombie apocalypse happens, I'm gonna be, like, like, and they're trying to make be ironic about it. They, they, like, they think that they would live. You wouldn't if something like that happened. You know? Yeah, they wouldn't. I don't. Know, it's just that's fucking stupid. Well, first you of know? all, that wouldn't happen, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's people out there that like wear the shirts and stuff like that, and someone yeah. might believe. I like, think if someone I- can fucking believe that there's a dude in the fucking clouds is building and making everything and all that shit. There's someone else that believes. That like fucking zombies could happen. What's you know? funny is the way you describe God. What a dude in the clouds that's like building and making things. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. I mean, there's people that. Yeah, because that I, dude's crazy, right? Yeah. It's like this dude in the fucking clouds building shit. Yeah, well, right? that's the thing. When somebody says like that, something you believe. Like, let's say, man, you're going to see our, our, our football team play, right? Yeah. And like this week, this coming weekend, they're going to be playing a team that most people think we're probably going to lose. Mm-hmm. And if we say, well, we're going to go because we believe Edna might win, they're like, that's crazy to believe that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, but it, that's crazy to believe. Because that's what I believe. But some people are like, yeah, that's crazy to believe. Anyway, Sunday, we're going to go and we're going to worship God. And then, you know, his son came and his son died and they nailed him up. And that way, now we're holy, free. Holy, Yeah, and you're like, wait, you think it's crazy that I think some kids can win a football game? <laughs> and you're telling me about this fucking zombie God of yours? Zombie God? Yeah, because Jesus died and then he... Oh, yeah. What if Jesus came back and walked real slow and ate brains? I would be going to church every week to hear that story. Like, we nailed him to a cross, we put him in a thing. Oh, when he rose... Three days later, he was wandering around Jerusalem eating brains and, like, You mean when he rose 
two days later. Yeah, we don't need to go to that again. People were like, I need to hear this. <laughs> They've heard it. Have they? I would say at least twice we've talked about that on the I, 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 Anyways, yeah. So D thinks, not thinks, but... The story is flawed. Technically, it's not that the story is flawed. When people refer to it, they're wrong. Yeah. When they say that Jesus came back three days later because it wasn't three days later. No. If Sunday unless is, he unless they did it at midnight, which they didn't, and then he got back up at like eleven fifty nine, maybe because it was daytime when they killed him because it was an eclipse apparently. Yeah, a total eclipse of the so, heart. So they're fucking stupid. Because if there were three, the days, story's flawed right there. If, if if the boat full of animals didn't get you, well, if that didn't get you, then you're not going to be God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like if you yeah. saw that and we're like, okay, yeah, what's they're next? all like, oh. It was two days that we've been lied to, right? <laughs> yeah. Even this guy with the long beard didn't buy, build a huge fucking boat. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. After that, they're like, I've been believing that. Wouldn't it be crazy though? It's like, you know how like the Bible, let's say like a few generations from now, the Bible has kind of changed a little, which it has, you know. So when they read it in Noah's Ark, it's like Noah like got a bunch of wetbacks to help him build the boat or something yeah. like that. It's like he got 50 wetbacks from Lowe's, and they're like, damn, that's a lot of wetbacks. He could have built You know he had boats. slaves. He didn't build the fucking thing by himself. No, he either had slaves or the whole story's made up. What was he, some farmer or something? <laughs> uh, supposed to be? I don't know if he farmed or... I mean, what the fuck did he do before he was... A master craftsman of boats. He was a holy man. Or ships, or arcs. What the he fuck? was the only person on earth worthy of not drowning. He must have been really good. <laughs> Think how good he must have been. When you'd see him and say, hey, how you doing? He'd be like, I'm doing good, and look you in the eye. <laughs> He's like a really good guy. He must have been part Irish, because Irish people build good boats, remember? Irish people build good boats? Yeah, Titanic. God himself couldn't sink that ship. Yeah, but God did sink the ship. No, an iceberg did. I know, but I'm saying, like, the, sh- the ship did But the sink. iceberg was molded by God's hands, right? Yeah, God put it there and killed all those poor people from the 20s. And he's like, bloop, right? Uh, the that, that's his big, like, like water. Glass. Yeah, water. salt water glass. He drinks salt water? I guess. What and then he's good? like, I need a bit of little ice in my drink, right? Yeah, he's, he's like, like, bloop. His friend's right? like, God, oh, there's a boat there. He's like, fuck, um... <laughs> yeah. Fuck, um... He did the little, like... <laughs> yeah, he did the little, like, pantomime masturbation thing. Who is he talking to, though? This uh, the other gods? Oh, we talked about that, right? The other gods of other planets? Yeah, the the Bible, if you read the Bible, in, and honestly, I've never read the Bible in Hebrew, but, but our version of it, they refer to other gods. Uh, other gods of other, like, solar systems, or? It doesn't say, it just, there's two, there's two instances that I can think of, and one of them is the Tower of Babel, where it's right after Noah's Ark. Anyway, the people on Earth all speak the same language, they're all the same race, and they all are, like, in the same place, apparently. Everyone's Jewish? Uh, yeah, apparently. So everyone's fucking funny and loaded, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because they can't steal from themselves. Well, right? they're not all Jews, but they all speak the same language and all that. So they start building a tower to heaven. That was their plan. And they just... I don't know how far they thought heaven was. How tall of a building could they have built fucking thousands of years ago? But anyway... Yeah, I know. So they started building the building. I'd be like when I used to build my Legos. I mean, should I start running out? So I start making really, really skinny. <laughs> yeah, you know that's the what they were doing. And then at the top, there's some guy like, I don't think we can fucking go any higher. He's up there, it's like it's swaying. Getting, it's getting a little windy. <laughs> yeah. Like that dude on that, remember that where he climbs that tower in the very top? Yeah, it makes my stomach hurt. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could think of the name of that video to tell people to watch it, but. Look up guy on really tall, like, tower. Changing light bulb on tall tower or something. Yeah. Fucking freaky. Yeah, so anyway, so the people are building the tower up to heaven because they want to, like, we're going to get to heaven and we'll rule the world, you know? And God looks, all right, here's what it says. God looks down and sees what they're up to, and he's like, whoa, shit. And he's like, they, if they can work together, they can do anything, and they could be like us. Oh, you talk to yeah. yeah, he says us. And then he says, you know, like, we better do something. So then he changes all the languages and spreads people all over the world. And that's why all people... That's why he made black people. Yeah, and that's why people all speak different languages. Which is crazy if you believe it. Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Yeah. He's like, white people. Now, what you have to understand, like, I'm telling you this, and you're like, like, making a joke. Yeah. (laughs) People believe that. People nowadays in America that have an education like yours believe that that's why people all have different languages. Because he spread them out and changed their languages up so they couldn't understand each other, so they couldn't work together 
And which why would God not want us working together? I thought that's what he wanted. It's because God bless America. You think like if there was a God, he wouldn't fucking like America. Nah. This place is a fucking cesspool. Definitely not the like central. If he liked you know, like any South America. He definitely wouldn't like like Americans like us. No. Well, what, why aren't they doing a podcast it's making like jokes North about North America and South America, but we're Americans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Fucking white people. Because, well, yeah. even Canadians are white, and they don't, we don't call them Americans. Nuh-uh. They're like, this fucking Canadians. And we're they're... Americans. <laughs> yeah. Fuck those. All this is land that we divided because we couldn't fucking buy it or steal it from you. <laughs> exactly. You know we wanted Canada. We're like, it's kind of cold, but nice. But those white Canadians are tough. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? They're like, always fucking slapping those fucking little, <laughs> little dip cans at us. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking Canadians are on the border. That's probably how they protect their border from us. They got a line of hockey pucks. And like every ten feet, there's a guy with a stick ready. And on, and on the other border, they had lines of tacos. <laughs> yeah. That just, like, burn up your asshole until you die. Yeah, you shit fire. So you're like, oh, it's so good, I want to eat it. But <laughs> we you shouldn't go there. Just don't go there. That's yeah. how, yeah. Anyways, this is going to have to be the end. Episode 29. Of episode 29. So sad, so sad, but... Yeah, a, little, a single tear rolls down my cheek. Yeah, there's no tears going down my cheek, but there will be an episode 30 one day. At some point in the future. Yep, near maybe. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so... This is the end of episode 29, kind of ending abruptly. Check us out on motherfucking... Facebook? Facebook, like the likes on like our page or whatever. Yeah, like our page. Uh, and hey, if you like us, tell other people because our listener, we got some 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 loyal listeners. But more is always better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, subscribe, share. I don't. I want to do all your stuff. We're yeah. not. We're not tech guys. I'm more techie than he is. And if you knew how techie he was, you would laugh at how yeah, because I he's said better because I said techie. Yeah, that sounds like that means you like dick. I don't know. He's a little techie. We'll talk about techiness yeah. on another podcast. But anyways, this is the end of episode 29. So, thank you for listening. Listen to her some more. I don't know. I can just keep going on with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, later. <laughs>